Hi, it's Katrina. From cockroaches kicking wasps in the face to enormous dinosaur bones, here are 10 amazing recent discoveries. Number 10. Karate Kicking Cockroaches Emerald jewel wasps have a particularly nasty way of finding a place to lay their eggs in a cockroach's brain. Then they get turned into mind-controlled zombies. Once they get stung, there is not much they can do, but the cockroaches that fall victim to this technique have started to develop a surprisingly effective countermeasure. It had long been known that the wasps targeted cockroaches and that they were able to turn them into zombies with their stings. The wasp will grab onto the antenna of the cockroach, then the first strike paralyzes their legs, while the second sting goes right to their brain, releasing a neurotoxin that hijacks their nervous system. It changes the way the cockroach think and alters their behavior. Then the wasp proceeds to snip off the wings, drink the blood, and then steer the roach back to their nest where they implant their eggs. When the newborn wasps hatch, they emerge into the still alive but zombified cockroach and eat it from the inside out. This is something you probably wouldn't even wish onto your worst enemy. Researchers believe that the cockroaches had no way to prevent this grisly fate, but recent observations have found that they have learned how to fend off the wasps before they are able to land their first sting. In about 50% of encounters, roaches stand up on their hind legs and deliver a sharp kick to the head of the wasp, karate style, which either disorients the wasp, knocks it out, or causes severe damage. Just like what you would probably do if a zombie is coming at you. Number 9. Fossil Rewrites China's History Fossil discoveries can teach us a lot about the animals that once roamed the Earth, but sometimes a discovery can also make us rethink our complete understanding of the entire planet. In 2018, the remains of a dinosaur were found in northern China, and its presence there tells a new story about the continents. Perhaps the previous ideas of the separation of the planet's continents were wrong. The fossil was from a species of long-necked sauropod called Ling Wulong Shenqi that lived around 174 million years ago. Scientists thought that East Asia had already separated from Pangaea by this time, but if that had been the case, there would have been no way for this species to cross the Great Divide that had formed. Since this fossil is the oldest known example of a sauropod to have been found anywhere on Earth, it means Pangaea must have remained connected at least for several millions of years longer than had been assumed. Ling Wulong appeared where it pretty much shouldn't have, in northern China, 15 million years earlier than any other known dinosaurs from its group. Scientists from Imperial College London were doubly excited. Not only was it the oldest member of its group ever found, but it's the first ever from Asia. Number 8. Earth 2? Over the past decade, new scientific instruments have allowed researchers to explore the universe like never before. One of the most interesting fields of study is the search for exoplanets, or planets outside of our solar system that orbits a star, much like Earth orbits the Sun. Over the past few years, hundreds of these exoplanets have been found, especially with the help of TESS. NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. One of the most exciting discoveries was TOI 700D. Unlike most planets found that are very different places from our home planet, it is about the same size as Earth and orbits its star at a distance that would allow water to remain liquid. TOI 700D orbits a red dwarf star in the Dorado constellation and is around 101.4 light years away from us. Simulations have shown that there's a very good chance the surface has the same temperature range, the gravity is about equal to ours, and that it could be made up of many of the same chemical compounds that are on our own planet. It is in the magical Goldilocks zone around its star, so not too close, not too far. Of course, there is still a lot of uncertainty about this planet, including its mass and whether or not it has an atmosphere. However, TESS will once again be pointed at TOI 700 and it might reveal more of its secrets. And now for number 7, but first big thank you to Hawkeye Stegosaurus and to Stacy House. So glad you liked the videos, that's what I'm here for. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and join us. Number 7. Egyptian Treasure Archaeologists recently announced the discovery of an important artifact in Egypt, and one that they hope may lead them to the location of a long-lost burial chamber. 
Researchers from Poland were scouring through what appeared to be trash near the mortuary temple of Hatshepsut, which is a structure at a complex of ancient tombs on the west bank of the Nile called Deir el Bahari. Trash sounds bad, but ancient trash is actually chock full of information. One of them noticed something unusual, and when they looked closer, they realized that what initially appeared to be a block of stone was, in fact, a small chest. Inside were a few items carefully wrapped in cloth, such as the remains of a sacrificed goose, a goose egg, and the egg from an ibis. What was very interesting, however, was that there are inscriptions on the chest that refer to Pharaoh Tutmos II, a leader from ancient Egypt whose burial chamber has not yet been found. The researchers think it's possible that this box came from the pharaoh's tomb, so the place has probably already been raided by robbers, but it would still represent a major find if they can use this to help determine its location, and shows that there could still be many more burial sites that are yet to be uncovered. Number 6. Skull of an Ancient Ancestor It has long been known that humans evolved from the same ancestors as other primates many millions of years ago, but the exact point at which we branched off in a different direction isn't yet fully understood. Our own species, Homo sapiens, are thought to have developed around 100,000 years ago, but a recent discovery in Ethiopia is thought to be the remains of one of the earliest known direct human ancestors who lived in the region around 3.8 million years ago. Called Australopithecus anamensis, it's thought to be a direct ancestor of Lucy, the famous ancient hominid which was once our oldest known relative. This newly discovered species represents the time at which our ancestors first emerged from the trees, and even though they walked on two legs, they still had distinctively ape-like features, particularly in their faces and jawlines. Their brains were about a quarter of the size that ours are today, and the skull that was found already shows signs that teeth were developing to become like ours, in order to allow them to eat a variety of different foods. It's still thought that there are a few missing pieces before we fully understand our entire evolutionary history, but this recent discovery gets us a whole lot closer. Number 5. Medieval Sword in Danish Sewer Searching through a sewer, you might not expect to find anything too useful among all the sludge and the waste, but in early 2019, a team of engineers found something unexpected. A medieval sword. They were cleaning the thick layers of waste from around the pipe when something rigid began to emerge, and after removing it for further research, it was found that it dated back to the 1300s. It was still surprisingly sharp and had a double-edged blade which would have only been available to the wealthiest people of the time. Perhaps it belonged to a member of the royal family or one of their elite guards. Dents and grooves in the blade suggest that it had been well used, probably across three or four different battles, and it certainly would have been a feared weapon on the medieval battlefields. Quite how it managed to get into the sewer is not entirely clear, though, and once it was thoroughly cleaned, it was given to the History Museum in the Danish town of Aalborg to be put on permanent display. Number 4. Giant Dinosaur Bone In 2019, scientists in southwestern France uncovered an enormous dinosaur thigh bone at an excavation site. Measured to be 6.6 .6 feet long, or 2 meters, the thigh bone is believed to belong to a sauropod, one of the largest land animals that ever existed. They were herbivores with a long neck and tail. The bone was so well preserved you can see the dents of muscles, tendons, and scars. These sauropods walked the earth around 140 million years ago and weighed about 40 to 50 metric tons. The femur bone alone took about a week to remove from the ground and weighs about 1,102 pounds. They needed a crane to get it out. A large pelvic bone was also found nearby. At this site, located near the town of Cognac, France, scientists have been excavating fossils since 2010. So far, over 7,500 fossils have been found from at least 40 different species, including Stegosaurus and a herd of ostrich dinosaurs. With all of those fossils, you'd think that this leg bone was just one more, but this was actually a major discovery. Most big bones like this shatter into many pieces. Number 3. Aged Beer Construction workers were digging up a parking lot in the city of Leeds in the UK when they uncovered the remains of an old building that had long been covered over, along with hundreds of perfectly preserved products that had been made there. The thing that made this find special, though, was that the building used to be a pub, and there were hundreds of bottles of beer. Thought to be at least 100 years old, the 600 bottles were neatly stacked outside the former Scarborough Castle Inn, and thanks to having been placed underneath the cellar stairs, they hadn't been crushed by all of the stone and rock that had been used to build on top of it. 
The majority of the bottles still had their labels on, which said J.E. Richardson of Leeds, and mostly contained ginger beer. This isn't something that would be recommended to drink these days because analysis of the fluid found an extremely high lead content, which is most likely due to the lead pipes that were used in the brewing process. That's too bad. A Moscow mule sounds kind of good right now. It's a unique insight into the history of the region and the people that lived there, and shows that even though society may have progressed a lot since then, at the end of the day, people still just wanted to sit back, relax, and have a beer. Number 2. A New Continent How many continents do you think there are on Earth? While the usual answer is seven, the more we learn about the makeup of our planet, the more we learn that its structure is much more complicated than we had realized. There is now evidence to suggest that there's actually a separate continent between Europe and Africa that's called Greater Adria. It's separated from a supercontinent called Gondwana several hundred million years ago, detached from what is now North Africa about 200 million years ago, and then began to collide with Europe and slid beneath it. Before most of it disappeared, it would have been mostly underwater, but full of coral reefs, tropical oceans, and archipelagos. There is, however, still part of it that you can step foot on, and it's the strip of land between Turin and the Adriatic Sea, what we see as being the boot of Italy, and some of the mountain peaks of the Alps are made from its rock. Number 1. Goliath the Massive Tadpole In ponds and slow-flowing rivers at the right time of year, you might find thousands of tadpoles swimming around just waiting to become toads and frogs. But how big do you think one of these creatures can actually grow to be? In 2018, while researchers investigated the remains of a drained pond in Arizona, they found what they think is the largest one on record, and it was an absolute monster. At larger than the size of a regular can of Coke and about the same length as a banana, this tadpole, affectionately known as Goliath, was initially thought to be a fish before they looked closer. It was an American bullfrog tadpole, and while the adult animals can become around 8 inches long, their young are not normally anywhere near that size. It's not known quite why Goliath became so big, but it has been suggested that it was as a result of a hormone imbalance that meant that it just kept growing and growing. I wonder how big of a frog he became. You have to wonder how many others like this are hidden in the waterways. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new today and that you are staying safe and healthy. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!